Hey, what's up, guys? So, for a quick rant video about Google, Vo oh, not Google Voice, but Google Hangouts. Um, so lately, there's you know, there's been a couple of posts being thrown up about Google Hangouts and some of the things that people feel is wrong with it. There's YouTubers that put up videos about what Hangouts is doing wrong, and you know, I like to watch and listen to what everyone has to say as a whole. And then, you know, it does get a little bit weird. Like, uh, one of the biggest complaints about Hangouts is that it's not standard. It's not standard all across Android, and, you know, that's what people get angry about. And then, you know, I hear that, I'm like, you know, I agree with them. Like, right, you know, if it's not the standard default SMS application, you know, uh, that could that could pose to be a problem for Hangouts. Except for the fact that, you know, um, I believe it was the Nexus 5 or the Nexus 4, one of the two, where Hangouts came as the default standard SMS application, and it was totally rejected by a lot of people. So, you know, when you do things like that, you got to remember, like, Google's not one of those companies where it's all about just their decisions. They actually listen to us out here. They, they come across some of our videos, and maybe, you know, they pick up a few ideas that some people have mentioned. And so they are listening. And when you reject something like Hangouts for being the standard SMS application on the Nexus device, then what makes them think that they're going to make it standard all across Android? See, they do things in steps. They don't just flat bomb everybody with it. Like at one time, bam, you have to use Hangouts. Like, no. They're always interested on how we as consumers are going to react to something that they do. So when that was rejected, it just basically came as something you can download from the Play Store. You can use it if you want to use it and not. Another thing that people complain about is the Google Voice integration. And this is where I don't understand why it's such a big problem. Because it's not like that. It's integrated into Hangouts where you have to use Google Voice as default. There is, you know, there is a, a drop down, well not a drop down, but a pop up that has different options when you're going to message. You're either going to use you know, the standard chat hangouts messaging with somebody. You can use your SMS, which is your mobile phone's number, or you can use SMS, which is Google Voice's number. You have options. You don't, you're not forced to use one particular thing on hangouts. Hangouts is pretty much broadened, you know. Of course, you know, you have video calling, which is always great. It's nice. It's, you know, for me, I use it above everything else. There's no need for me to download Skype. You know, my family uses Hangouts, so that's how we video chat with each other. Um, you could do voice calling from it, you know, VOIP using Google Voice. So there, there's something that's really pretty good there. Uh, I just think people are a little bit too nitpicky when it comes to Hangouts. And then they want Hangouts, you know, to be this, uh, this identical thing to iMessenger from Apple. And... While it's, you know, it kind of is where it's bringing everything into one, you know, it's like everyone just wants to reject or wants to nitpick. And people forget, above all things, that these features are there because they're, they're trying to cater to an entire group of different types of users, okay? They're not developing Hangouts just for you, so how you would want Hangouts to be because of how you use it. They're not just going to develop it that way and force it among everyone else that uses different features involved in Hangouts. Would it make sense to do that, right? It's just like building, you know, an automobile, you know. They're not going to build a car that's, you know, specifically tuned for you, okay? They're going to build it in general as a whole. And if you want to use your car a certain way, you tweak your car to how you want to drive it. That's the same thing with Hangouts. So that's just my quick little rant for today, guys. Um, and if those people still out there who are complaining and they're like, you know, Hangouts is cool, but they need this out of it, they need it to be standard, well, hey, the next time that Google actually is attempting to make it the standard application for SMS and, and, and uh, MMS, don't reject it. Use it. There's, trust me, if you guys use it, all the other stuff you guys want, like sending videos as an MMS and having MMS faster, they'll work harder on it. And if people take an interest in the application, the developers will work even harder to make it better. But if everyone else keeps rejecting it or letting it fall by the wayside, then that's exactly what's going to happen with its development team. Is we'll leave it at this for right now. We'll work on some updates for it, but probably release an update once a year. And that's not what we want with Hangouts. We really need Hangouts to become the standard default all-in-one messenger that makes life easier for all of us on our smartphones. That's the whole point about it. So if you guys agree with me, leave me a thumbs up. Tell me some other things you guys think that I can change with Hangouts. And, um, yeah, 
Uh, if you have not subscribed, click that subscribe button for future content. My name is Tito with Aloha Android. Thanks for checking out my video. And uh, happy birthday to Xavier. I'll see you guys next time.